In this week's episode of Working with Evernote, I show you a really neat trick using a utility application called Hazel. Hello and welcome to this 85th episode of Working with Evernote. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I have a fantastic trick for you guys who are using a desktop Mac application, Evernote application, because this is a feature that is already available in Windows, which is, I think in the Windows version it's actually called Watch Folder or folder to watch or something but this is creating the same effect using an application that I've been using for years and years and years and it's it runs in the background and I often forget that it's actually there but it does so much work that it just this web page that I came across the other day just really made something so simple and I'm going to show you how to set that up in today's episode. Basically what we're doing here is creating a folder on your Mac which Hazel is watching and as soon as you dump or place a PDF file in there it will automatically take the PDF file and it will move it into your Evernote uh, application with the title of the PDF. And I find this such a useful uh, feature of Hazel. I mean, Hazel does many things, but this episode is really about Evernote. And I will cover Hazel in a future episode of Working With Apps. But for today, I just want to show you how this is going to work with Evernote. And I think you're going to be blown away, particularly you Mac users. As I say, for Windows users, you actually have this feature built into your Evernote on your desktop already. And all you need to do is just going to have a look through uh, the file, I think, or maybe look through the preferences and you will find it. Okay, before we go any further though, I would just like to say if you like this episode, please click on the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. Okay, let's get into Evernote and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so <clears throat> before we start, I've actually saved this uh, document. So I'm just gonna click on this so it can take you to the actual website. So I've actually saved this uh, website. It's from Document Snap. And the whole instructions of what you need to do is right here. It's really, really simple to follow. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about this. I think it's much better if you follow the instructions from this website rather than following the instructions on this website. What I want to show you on this episode is basically how it works. But before we get started, let me show you Hazel that I have. Now, to be fair, on my laptop, I don't use it as much as... I do on my desktop. My laptop really is just uh, kind of an, ex uh, I call it like a satellite to my desktop. My desktop is where all the action takes place. But I do have a few things in Hazel. For example, I have my downloads here so I can trash and downloads that I download. If I, I can just remove them from the downloads folder because that's one of those folders on a Mac that fills up very quickly because we don't delete the files. So this is just a nice little reminder. Now I know some of you will say, well, don't, doesn't Mac OS have this built-in feature? Well, it does now, but it, before it never did. And basically I have it here. So what I've done is I've actually created the folder here. So I have my Evernote folder created and that is actually, if I could show you, I have it now in my, my, um, favorites on the here so I can click on that it's just an empty folder at the moment and I created it in my um, in my I can't find it now but basically I created it in my uh, quarrel folder and it's in users and it's in there so I have it actually in here it doesn't matter really where you put it you can put it in your documents folder wherever you actually want to do it but you need to create the folder first I just call mine Evernote so that Hazel knows which folder to watch so if I double click on that it will show you what I've got here import to Evernote and basically I have the setup as 
Hazel has it all. So if all of the following conditions are met, the extension is PDF. Run an Apple script, which you will find right here. Basically, all you have to do is copy and paste that into the Apple script. And after that, which is to me the piece de resistance of this particular uh, script that you're running in Hazel is move the folder to trash. Again, you don't want it to be building up. So that's how you do it. But as I say, all the instructions, I've got a link in the link section below in the notes so you can actually follow along. It's really, really simple to follow. But basically what this means is if I actually have, as I've done here, I've got the GTD Todoist setup guide. All I have to do is drag and drop that into that folder. I'm going to move that into there and Hazel will do its stuff. There you go. It's moved it straight into Todoist. Uh, sorry, Evernote. It's here. It's just importing. So the Todoist uh, guide is now in here. But what's also you notice, it's now disappeared because that has now entered into my trash. I don't need to keep it. But actually, I do want to keep that because I actually put it in a different place. Um, but that's basically how it works. It's really, really great application. As I say, it's a utility that I have and have been running in my um, background on all my Macs for probably about five or six years now. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful way of automating things that go in your Mac. So really, essentially what I'm doing this week is showing you a lot of automating tricks that you can use. And this is Hazel. Uh, it is a cost. I don't know how much it costs. It didn't cost very much. I think it's well here. It's in this particular one. Uh, there's no date on this particular post, but uh, when this post was written, Hazel was $22 to buy. Do you know some of the things that Hazel does for me? I, it's just unbelievable. I can just drag and drop files around into a watch folder and it will then just send it to the right folder. I don't have to look for anything. It's just a fantastic application or it's not really an application, more of a utility that you find in the background. Anyway, hopefully that's given you a little idea about automating. For those of you, particularly on the Mac users, Hazel is just a brilliant utility app that you could have. And there's so much that you can do with it. Um, and it's well worth looking at for David Sparks' videos on Hazel because they are really, really very, very good. Okay, hopefully you found this episode useful. If you have any questions at all about Hazel or using Evernote, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week.